Uh, well, it happened. This is it. This would be it. This is the weirdest iPhone leak ever. If you're watching this on the toilet right now, which you probably are, hit subscribe and turn on all notifications to be part of the Toilet Squad. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Of course, the show that gives you all it is tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Hey, I saw a lot of your comments being like, hey, John, what is, why, what is that case on your iPad mini? <laughs> no, no. I wish this was an iPad mini. Guys, <laughs> I wish this was an iPad at all. Okay. News. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. Remember the last episode? Of course you do. You watch every single episode of Front Page Tech, right? Because if you don't... Anyway, in the last episode, we talked about this report from 9to5Mac. Exclusive, Apple currently has no plans to release a new, larger screen iMac. Meaning, no iMac Pro. And you know how excited I am about iMac Pro. Rumors were suggesting that Apple has a new iMac Pro in the works, but this may no longer be the case. Because according to 9to5Mac, they've heard from their sources that their, their plans are canceled. No iMac Pro. And in the last episode, right after I talked about that report, I said this. Can I say something quickly? And just, uh, of course, nothing against 9to5Mac and the crew over there. Uh, everybody's great. Everybody's wonderful. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is a crock of shit. Fast forward to today, and Mark Gurman, Marcus Germantis, has given us his full rundown of the Mac lineup that he expects to see released by the end of next year. The list goes, and this is the consumer part first, MacBook Air with M2, okay, MacBook Pro, 13 inch with an M2, makes no sense, but whatever, I, I won't complain, uh, Mac Mini with an M2 and an M2 Pro version to replace the Intel model, uh, and then uh, an iMac, of course, with, uh, I would assume, a 24 inch iMac with an M2, and that Apple Studio display. Okay, in the Pro category, MacBook Pro 14 inch and 16 inch with an M2 Pro and M2 Max, Mac Studio with M2 Max and M2 Ultra, Mac Pro with an M2 Ultra and M2 Extreme, and an Apple Pro Display 7K. Also on Mark Gurman's list, the iMac Pro with an M2 and M2 Max. Would you just look at that? Gonna be honest, I, I expected to have to wait longer than just one episode amount of time to see that 95 Mac was wrong about that report, but I will take this. I will gladly take this. Uh, hey, look, behind you, it's today's sponsor. <laughs> Hey, you do know that just browsing in incognito mode does not actually protect you and your privacy? You know that, right? Jake, without added security, you might as well be putting all your private data in a cute little box, tying a cute little bow on it, and giving it straight to advertisers, hackers, and your ISP. IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet by encrypting 100% of your data, like passwords, communications, browsing history, and more. Even your physical location will be a secret. Use IP Vanish on an unlimited amount of devices without sacrificing any speed. And right now, you can get 70% off of their yearly plan with a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is pretty much like getting nine months for free, which is a uh, that is a baby amount of time. Go to ipvanish.com slash fpt and use code fpt to get started today. And of course, a huge thanks to IP Vanish for sponsoring this episode. Alrighty, tidy. So last up for the day, story numero lasto. This one is, uh... This one is weird. According to Kuoming Chi, who is tweeting all of a sudden now, I guess he's using Twitter. Oh my God, what? He follows me on Twitter. Kuoming Chi follows 14 people and I am one of them. Okay, listen, everybody calm down. You're making me look bad, chill. He tweeted probably one of the weirdest iPhone leaks in a long time, but it's Kuoming Chi, he's the goat, so. We have to pay attention. He said that the iPhone 14 Pro models will get the next chip, the A16 chip, you know, as expected, but the not Pro models, the Dollar Tree poor people models, then by Dollar Tree poor people models, I mean they're still like $800. He says those models will still use the A15 chip from last year, the same chip that shipped with iPhone 13. Uh, 
What? The regular models getting the older chip will make this the first time in like 10 years that something like this has happened, where Apple has given two newly released iPhones two separate chips. The last time this happened was, I guess, with the iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C. Those phones shipped with an A7 chip and an A6 chip. Keep in mind that the regular models aren't getting a crazy redesign. It's only the Pro models that are getting that new hole punch display or whatever this monstrosity is. Quo does mention that the iPhone 14 regulars will be getting a bump in RAM at least, going from four to six gigabytes, but why? Why is this happening? Apple usually, usually does not have an issue stuffing brand new chips in pretty much anything and everything. That's one area they, they usually don't skimp out on, so what's the deal? If I had to guess, it's probably because Tim Cook has been eating all those A16 chips to keep up them guns! Am I right? Okay, but but for real though, I, I think I think this has to do with the chip shortage. That is what makes the most sense. And if you think about it, the people buying the base model iPhones probably don't even know what chip their phone has inside of it. They're just like, okay, bye, I can't open up Instagram real fast. This is going to separate the pro models from the regular ones even more because usually Apple develops new features that only work with the new chipset. So right out of the gate, these regular models, were, they're gonna be a little bit behind. The only way that this is acceptable to me is if, Apple lowers the price for those entry-level models. That's the only way this ends up being okay. You cannot give us this year's phones with last year's chips and still try to charge this year's price. Uh-uh, no, I will not allow it. But seriously though, what is going on? Look at his arms. Why are they like that? <laughs>